So I've got a Sony Xperia Arc to play with. Um, this isn't the final version, so everything's not complete. But I'm just going to walk you through a bunch of the benchmarks as well as some applications and uh, show you some of the differences. So to start off, everyone's familiar with the X10. You've got your three hard buttons, the camera button, uh, the volume rockers. At the top you've got power, uh, the earphone jack, and your micro USB port. The front's got the proximity sensor. And uh, yeah, so on the arc, you've got, again, you've got three hard buttons, but the back and the menu button have changed positions. And at the top, you've got a power button, and this is now the micro HDMI cable to plug into your TV. On the sides are the volume buttons, and the camera button, and the micro USB charging and data port has been moved to the side, and there's no more cover. On the back, You've got the camera, the flash, and the Xperia logo. And it's definitely smaller and thinner, and you can see the curve. Just to compare the phones uh, physically, the X10 is thicker than the Arc, but the Arc is uh, slightly taller. Uh, because it has a 4.2 inch screen compared as opposed to the uh, 4 inch screen on the X10 and width wise they're pretty much the same this is a comparison of the X10 and the Arc uh, in almost direct sunlight so this is the lowest setting And this is Max. Uh, the arc is brighter and more readable, definitely more readable in direct sunlight. I'm just going to walk you through some of the differences on the two phones. So under wireless and networks, on the arc you now have tethering and portable hotspot. So you can tether with USB or tether with Wi-Fi. Under Wi-Fi, you can only use open encryption or WPA. No more crappy WEP encryption. But it's nice to see it built in. Oops. Under display, On the Arc, there's now the Mobile Bravia engine. Unfortunately, this isn't finished, so I can't show you the video and uh, what difference this would make. Under Privacy, you can now back up your data uh, to Google and restore. So that's convenient. And you've got also now a new voice and input and output which has a whole bunch of different languages for voice as well as things like uh, safe, search, safe search offensive words and uh, hints and stuff. So those are the main differences in the menus. Go back into the phone. You can now sort using different uh, methods, so custom, alphabetical, and you can move things around. Just hit this icon. And the things start to float around and you can move things around and reposition them. As well, uh, you can pinch and show all your widgets. So you can pinch to go in and out of all the widgets. And there's still five screens. If you add a folder on here, you can add folders and then drag icons into there. So Gmail into social. And when you click on a folder, it just pops out. As for widgets, you've got the same thing, shortcuts, widgets, folders. Unfortunately, the flashlight, Xperia X10 flashlight doesn't work anymore, so they've changed that uh, API. But other than that, you've got the same 
this type of widgets. Shortcuts. Same thing. And you've also got your live wallpapers. So, so, so. And when you slide up and down the menus, you've got this you've got this nice little effect that shows you you've hit the top or the bottom. So if I slide to the bottom, it's gonna glow when you hit the bottom. Same thing as when you hit the top. So it's a nice little effect. And everything as all um, is a lot faster. It's all so a lot more responsive. Everything's pretty much instant. Switching between applications, market, Google search. Okay. Running touch test on all three phones. Uh, 2.1.1435 has the dual touch drivers installed and uh, 2.3.1 I haven't installed the dual touch drivers so it doesn't work on the arc dual touch is a lot more sensitive and accurate but the newest thing is that it now supports four touches so there's four points you can see the uh, green, the orange and uh, four touches so that's pretty cool For this part, I'm going to uh, run Linpack and uh, Quadrant and just show you their scores. So, Linpack and run, run, run. Yeah, so all their benchmarks are very close. 33 on the Arc, uh, 34 on the uh, X10A running 435 and 36.866 on the X10A running um, the 2.3.1 and now for Quadrant quadrant and running the full benchmark And this one crashed actually. I'm just going to run it again. It is running some graphics benchmarks, but since this isn't the complete version, um, there's still some issues with the graphics decoder. And proceed. Yes, yes. Okay, so on the arc, the score is uh, 15, 14. Or, is that a, sorry, 15, 74. On the X10, it's 772. And we're just waiting for the X10 running 2.3.1. it's 11.55 so the ARC is the fastest out of all three of them now for the speed test between the X10 and the ARC um, I'm gonna run the test at the same time so the speeds are gonna be a bit slower because they're probably communicating with the, the same cell tower but uh, the ARC is uh, still faster So the arc is pretty much 50% uh, faster. And uh, the upload speeds are almost double. 
if I run the uh, test with the arc by itself I'll get faster upload speeds so just to show some of the results I've gotten earlier uh, I've gotten up to 5,000, 5,500 and uh, 5,000 and 3,000 upload so very similar to what I got earlier today so the arc is faster uploading and downloading another feature on the arc is uh, the media server which allows you to stream content uh, directly to uh, d compatible devices like a TV or uh, a laptop or computer. So right now I've got the media server turned on and it's connected to uh, my ho this home network using a uh, Wi-Fi. So on the TV on the TV I'm just going to refresh all the media servers and it's gonna try to access the the phone here and you have to grant permission to any device that requests um, access so this is the TV can you allow access Hit OK go back on this and just do it again connect so under here you'll see the, the TV is listed now it's having permission So now it's it says successful. I'm just gonna go back. And now if you go over to photos, you'll see the exterior arc. You can access it. You can sort the photos by date. That's being accessed. So those are some of the photos. You can also access uh, music on the arc. So let's just pick some of the stuff that's already included on the on, on the CDs. Let's see. Okay. And unfortunately, uh, since this is incomplete, uh, it does not yet stream video because uh, because uh, this uh, this firmware is not yet complete. So that's just a, a preview of media streaming on the Arc. Now I'm just going to show you the uh, micro HDMI mirroring uh, on the Arc. At the top, there's a micro HDMI port. It's where the micro USB port used to be on the X10. And uh, just get a micro HDMI cable. If you're running HDMI under 25 feet, do not spend money on expensive HDMI cables because there is absolutely no difference. So go to monoprice.com or go to bawawa.com in Canada and that's where you can pick up your cables. So if you, when you plug in HDMI, it automatically brings up the gallery on my TV. Um, this is a 1080 Sony uh, Bravia. It shows up as 720p. So 720p HD, it is not uh, 1080p. But it mirrors your phone, so all the different menus and everything. You can use it as a live view for the camera. So this is vertical, and this is horizontal. Uh, unfortunately, since this isn't the final, uh, Arc uh, firmware. I can't. Uh, I tried to download some MKVs to uh, try to test out the audio and video playback, but they don't work because it's not the final version. But you can play back videos taken with uh, the camera itself. So this is just a video I made uh, yesterday, and um, I'll be putting up comparison videos with the uh, Arc and the X10. So you can skip around and watch the different videos. And it is very responsive and very quick. Okay. 
and it does go full screen when you're playing the videos back. Okay. Now I'm just going to demonstrate Adobe Flash running on the Arc. Uh, as you can see in the market, I've already installed Adobe Flash Player 10.2. I'm just going to switch back to the browser and open up miniclip.com. It's a website with a whole bunch of Flash games. And just pick any game. As you can see, it loads up the actual. Uh -oh. But as you can see, it loads up the Flash game. And with the Xperia's uh, four inputs, you can probably play most games. Um, just go into instructions. I'm just going to attempt to use Super One Click uh, to see if rooting works. So just make sure Unknown Sources is on. Under Development, uh, USB Debugging is also on, and I've connected it to the computer. Click Run as Administrator as always. I'm going to use Rage Against the, the Cage and click Root. So in conclusion, uh, despite this not being the final and just a preview version of the Arc, everything is uh, very responsive with Android 2.3. Uh, the design is very sleek and it's great to hold in your hand. Uh, the larger 4.2 inch screen is more readable, especially in bright sunlight, and uh, battery life is also significantly improved with uh, 2.3. Uh, the Arc's camera's low light performance is excellent for a camera phone, and the HDMI out is handy for playback as well as full screen mirroring of YouTube or the browser or other applications. Um, along with new features in 2.3 such as tethering, voice search and dictation, uh, custom menus and especially Adobe Flash, the Arc will have the software to complement its uh, great hardware. Um, if you're with a carrier that has a high speed network as well, the download and upload speeds will make streaming and uploading content a lot faster. Um, despite other phones that will soon come out with dual core processors or 1080p recording, I still think the Arc is a decent phone given its great design and it will all come down to how much the carriers price it at. If you're also not aware, Sony Ericsson has reversed its previous decision and it will be updating the X10 to Android 2.3 in uh, Q2, Q3 uh, as well. So that makes this upgrade decision a bit more difficult as the X10 and the Arc are very similar feature wise and it will come down to uh, just the design and the camera. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, sneak peek. Give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.